For months, government officials and market prognosticators have been talking about a recession, yet growth remains solid. So what gives? The consumers stayed strong over the last several quarters, and part of that's been the excess savings, but I think the consumer's about to weaken. And if you look at the other three sectors of GDP, namely government spending, we think that's likely to slow. If you look at investments with rates up 500 basis points, it's hard to make an argument that investment is likely to increase. And then net exports may be a victim of this deglobalization that we've talked about in other videos. So Brian, what are you looking at from the economy? Well, Matt, I agree with you. I mean, frankly, I've been surprised at really how well our economy has hung in there, given, you know, the high rates that you mentioned. But I, I think you're right. It's, it's the tight labor markets and uh, the excess savings that are, you know, helping propel the economy forward. But I'm also, you know, I know that there are lags in monetary policy. The Fed hikes rates, takes a while to, for that to filter through the economy. And at the same time, it's not unusual, just like what we're seeing today, that banks tighten lending standards while the Fed's hiking rates. The levels that we're at though now, as far as bank lending standards, you know, usually aren't, you know, you don't see that too much outside of recessions. Yeah, I think we can all agree the economy is slowing, but it's important to remember that the economy goes through cycles of expansionary and recessionary phases. We're probably in the late stages of the expansionary part and heading closer to recession. But it's important to remember that we will come back out of it and we will see that expansionary growth phase again. If we do enter a recession, we are thinking that it will not be as severe as the 2008 financial crisis. Yeah, I think, Melissa, look, the markers, if we just uh, look to try to hear what the market's telling us, we've been seeing an inverted yield curve. We've seen uh, the senior loan officer survey from the Fed show that banks are tightening credit standards, uh, money supply has actually started to fall. So those markers have been there for a while. Uh, but I think it's also important to remember, as we kind of mentioned, look, we've been through these economic cycles before. That's not going to be the end of our economy. That's the problem that I have with some of the uh, commentary that I see is that they take it as if this is going to be, uh, you know, just the end of what, uh, you know, what our economy is. And the fact of the matter is, is we've gone through these periods in the past. That's when we've had some tremendous opportunities. And when we think longer term on the economy, we've been through recessions before, that sets us up for another growth phase that takes us on to even better uh, economic times in the future.